Good evening and welcome. How are you today? Boy, have I got a great recipe lined up for this evening. This evening, we are going to be making a chocolate wine. A pure on proper, deep, rich, dark chocolate wine. This wine hits that chocolate spot that a lot of people have, especially females. It really tickles their fancy, this does. So make some for Valentine's Day for yourself or for your missus, and they will be head over heels about this wine and put you in their good books. It's fantastic, it's delicious. And as well, it's really simple to make. Now this wine is a bit of a long maturer. You need to make this up early in the year and leave it until the following year and give it a good year to mature. If you can give it two years, that's even better. It is sublime by the third year. It does take its time, so make it early, make a batch every year, and you will really, really reap the benefits of this fantastic chocolate wine. So what do we need to make this marvelous, wonderful chocolate divine wine? Well, the first thing we need is some cocoa powder. And I'm using 100% cocoa powder without any stabilizers or milk or sugar additives. Just go for the plain 100% cocoa powder. If you see any other ingredients on the label, it's best to avoid it and go for 100% pure cocoa powder pots if you can. You don't really want any milk proteins in this chocolate wine. If you're after something more milky, maybe go for a mocha coffee style blend. And that is so delicious and easy to make as well. But go for the 100% pure cocoa powder powder. And what else do we need for this toffee? And what else do we need for this cocoa? And what else do we need for this chocolate wine, I hear you ask? Well then, that is simple. We need the juice of two oranges, because chocolate and orange is such a great combination. It goes together perfectly, really well. It's a match made in heaven, it is. It's almost as if Cupid came along and matched up the orange with the chocolate. It's fantastic. It works. It, it works. It is fantastic. And to the cocoa powder and the two oranges, we are going to be adding just over the kilo of granulated sugar. Somewhere in the region of 1.2 to 1.3 kilograms of sugar. Depends how strong you like it and how sweet you like it. But considering you want a chocolate wine, you want it to be quite sweet. And I always find that the cocoa powder does not add a great deal of sweetness to the wine, so you want it to come from the sugar. And that is a rundown of the basic ingredients for this wine. And of course, yeast, which I'll come to later on. And now, on to the method of making this wonderful chocolate wine. The first thing we need to do is grab a clean, sanitised demijohn. And one I prepared earlier. And into that demijohn, place in a funnel if you have a funnel. I've had to improvise my funnel from a water bottle. I'm to never find my funnels when I'm trying to find one. Anyway, and into the demijohn, through the funnel, you want to add 10 tablespoons of your cocoa powder. Now 10 is the magic number I found from various different taste tests and gallons I've had to drink to bring you this recipe. Under 10, the chocolate flavor is not there. It's very subtle, you can't really pick it up behind the orange. More than 10, and the polyphenols react with the alcohol and you are left with a very bitter wine. All you can get is this bitterness of the chocolate without the chocolate flavor coming through. So 10, to me, is the magic number that really, really works well and sends the missus crazy. So 10, for me, it is. You can try more, you can try less. It depends on your personal, her personal preference for that polyphenol bitterness over the sweetness, over the orangeness. But 10, well worth starting there, seeing where you end up. Anyway, so pour in 10 tablespoons into your funnel, into your demijohn. And with your cocoa powder in the demijohn, you want to grab your 1.2 to 1.3 kilos of sugar and pour that into the demijohn as well. Then the next step is to squeeze and juice your oranges. Get all that juice into a bowl and pour it into your demijohn. Already that chocolate orange aroma is smelling divine. This wine is sublime, but it does take a long time to come into its own and to be brilliant. Drink it too early, 
it will be very bitter and not quite hitting the spot that it should hit. And then you want to add some water and bring it up to just below the neck of the Denny John. And I'm using some warm water to help the cocoa powder and the sugar dissolve. Doesn't have to be boiling, just needs to be warm enough to get those particles mixing in and being awesome. Hot chocolate oranges, brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Grab yourself a bun now and put it in the demijohn and give that a really good shake to get everything mixed in together and becoming friends and the right part in there and being awesome. Oh, divine, sublime, perfect, brilliant. This is a wine and a half. I am currently making quite a few different chocolate wines for this channel. Different types, different styles, different methods, different ways of making heaven in a glass. And boy, you are going to love these chocolate wines. If you're not a fan of chocolate, don't worry, the flavour of chocolate is not chocolate chocolate like milk chocolate. It's more of a very subtle, but it still has that chocolatey spark to it. Oh, it's really hard to explain but I will be doing a taste test of these wines quite soon as well because I've made some previous years, so I'll do a taste test. But yeah, you will love them. Where are we at now? Yeast, yes. For this chocolate wine, I am adding and using a red wine yeast because chocolate and red wine really go together. A bar of chocolate and a glass of red wine, or even better, some chocolate and 103 brandy, that is heaven. Anyway, yeast, red wine yeast, I think works the best for chocolate wines. But you can use any type of wine yeast that you have available to yourselves. Just my personal preference is red wine yeast, it works, it's what I like. Anyway, sprinkle in your wine yeast and pop in your airlock. Set it aside, warm place, and let it ferment for a while. This is going to be a vigorous one, it's going to be lively, it's going to be bubbling, bubbling, bubbling like mad, gushing over the top. That's the reason we haven't topped it all the way up to the neck of the demijohn yet. But you want to do that in a few days' time. After the initial fermentation has subsided. After the initial fermentation has done its thing. Then just top it all the way up and carry on fermenting it in a warm place. Stir it, yeah, and you want to give it a good stir or a good shake quite often in the initial seven to 10 days. This is because you don't want all that chocolate powder clumping too early before it sinks to the bottom. You want the chocolate powder to release its polyphenols and that flavor. Once the fermentation is dying down and the bubbles in the airlock, are subsiding and the and the specific gravity is reducing down to close to 0 0.990 and it's coming to an end. Then you can rack it off, take it off the sediment, off all that chocolate powder that has fallen to the bottom. And then you want to let it stand for a year in a cool place. Don't touch it, don't open it, don't even look at it apart from making sure there is liquid in the airlock. That's the only thing you need to do to it, is just ignore it, but keep an eye on your airlock for a full year. And then after a year, you can rack it off again, and if it's clear enough to bottle, bottle, and then lay it down for another six months to a year, or another two years if you can. When it goes to its third year, it is blissful, it is perfect, it is fantastic, in the second year. In the first year, it's very bitter. It's not that brilliant. So don't even try, don't even think about drinking it in year one. In year two, it is divine. It is heavenly, it is brilliant. In the third year, it is sublime, it is... Yeah, you try it. You, if, you can, if you can not drink this in the second year, you'll be well rewarded year three, I can guarantee. And as for what I'm drinking tonight, it's nasturtium leaf wine. And you can check that video out up by here. And I'll see you all soon. You have fun now.